Hello dear viewers, welcome to your favorite channel Organ Bob. Today we are going to talk about radial arterial line placement. For a arterial line placement, we firstly need to place a position for the forearm and wrist. Then we maintain the position of wrist by placing a saline bag under the wrist and securing the finger with tape. Our intended position is dorsiflexion of wrist with 20 to 30 degree inclinement of radial side of forearm. This will help easier approach to radial artery. Usually radial artery is easily palpable between flexocarpi radial standard and styloid process of radius bone. Sometimes we need to palpate the artery with bare hand for better feeling. Then we need to make a small well of 1% lidocaine to decrease pain during cannulation and reduce the occurrence of arterial spasm. Sometimes the catheter may not easily pass through the skin. To overcome this, we need to make a small nick on the skin with a needle or a blade at the insertion site. There are usually two techniques for arterial line placement such as over the needle technique and over the oil cylinder technique. In this video we will approach with over the needle technique. For this approach we will insert the uh, arterial catheter with needle at 30 to 45 degree angle towards the artery. Once the blood return is seen, the needle is advanced slightly further to ensure the catheter has entered the vessel. The needle angle is then lower to 10 to 15 degree and catheter is guided over the needle and advanced into the vessel. If the catheter cannot be advanced over the needle then we have to shift the technique to through and through where we advance the needle further 1 to 2 millimeter and remove the needle slightly backward from the catheter and look for pulsatile blood flow as the catheter is pulling backward. When the pulsatile blood is seen, then needle is slightly advanced inside the catheter and reduction of needle angle to 10 to 15 degree and advance the catheter over the needle. After that, we fix the catheter with leucoplast dressing and flush the catheter with heparin solution. Here we are seeing a good securing of radial arterial line and gush of arterial blood pulsation in the heparinated solution. It's important to regularly flushing the arterial line with heparinated solution. As we know, arterial blood is more sticky and it can cause overdamping of arterial waveform in the monitor by forming micro blood clot and that's all for today see you in next video thank you bye bye